Hi guys, good morning. It is Monday morning, so we're getting all stuff done today. We're getting groceries and I thought I'd just bring you along for our day. I'm gonna be also, I think I'm gonna throw something in the crock pot tonight because we have ball tonight. So instead of eating out, I'm gonna throw something in the crock pot. So I've got a few new recipes to share this week and um, I'm gonna share one today and then I'm gonna do a separate video like a what's for dinner sharing the other few recipes. Um, I'm finished getting, getting myself ready this morning. I'm running a little bit late. I got the kids up. One of them is up. One of them is not up. So we've got to finish that. Um, I'm so excited when I when I get home after taking the kids um, to school. I'm going to share with y'all uh, a try on that. This is one of my favorite brands that to share with y'all. I am so excited. Sharing a try on from Halara. So once we get back, I got uh, several things from them that I'm gonna be sharing with y'all. Um, so in just a few minutes, I'm gonna share that. But I'm gonna get these kiddos off to school, go in there and get their breakfast, get the rest of them up, and then share that with y'all. And then I'm sharing my grocery haul meal well i don't think i'm gonna share the meal plan because i'm gonna do that separate video restocking everything i'm gonna share what we're doing for dinner tonight and just gonna bring you all along just for my day today I made the girls lunches yesterday last night this is i make sure every night to do this now because it gets stressful when i don't in the mornings so i'm gonna grab their lunch boxes they've got sandwiches fruit and chocolate chip cookies this one is rings this one is Delane's. The only difference is one likes mayo and one don't. Ice packs. Hey, I placed a mobile order for Haley Cooper. Nope, that's it. Grabbing my favorite drink. I actually had a gift card, so. Left the back. <laughs> Grabbing my drink. that I've shared it like the last few vlogs. I promise I don't come here every day. I really don't. Um, but it was a good day to come. Millie don't have school today. Yay. And normally like I'm having, uh, normally I don't have much time yeah, between dropping puppy. them off at school and then taking Millie. So I do today because she don't have school today. They're cl her school's closed today. So grabbing my drink. Before I put everything away and show her grocery haul, I wanted to share my try on for my Halara things. I am so excited. Thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. I'm sharing a try on with y'all, but I did peek into a few of the items already. Try a few things on real quick to make sure that I love them and how they fit. And I love these so much. I felt so good in the ones that I've tried on. I haven't tried all of them on, so I'm excited to try the rest on. But I am so excited. I think I don't know if I've ever been so excited to share a brand with y'all because these are so comfy, so flattering on so many body figures. So what I love about Holara is they have a huge size range. So you've got your small to most of their leggings go up to 3XL. They have a big selection of different leggings to fit like kind of what you're looking for. I have a few different ones in here to show y'all. The fabric on all of these are so good. It's got that like the buttery soft but holds you in and just so comfortable and I just love that they're just embrace like natural body figure. So um, you've got your small to 3XL. You've got your like 7 8 length which what are I think most of mine are because I am shorter. You've got your full length. You've got capris. Um, so many different options and different like waistbands. So I'm going to get into the haul. I do have also a coupon code to share with y'all. My code is 15. Haley, you're going to get 15% off your order. So let me show y'all the things that I got. Okay, so I'm going to share the first piece with y'all. I'm going to share a few other leggings, but I've also got a few other pieces to share that are not just leggings. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to share is these. So these are called their So Kinched Leggings. These are so comfortable. They 
um, have the right, just the perfect amount of compression. Like they hold you in, but they're so comfortable at the same time. And I actually, mine are called um, Silent Blue. Normally I stick with like a black legging, but I love the different colors that they have to choose from on Halara. So these are called So Kitsch Leggings. They're very, very comfy. They're breathable and they've got, they don't have a, like a seam in the front that gives you like the camel toe, like some leggings do. Also designed for multi-sport activities. So whether you're working out, whether you're just doing things around the house, whether you're going to a ball game for your kids, I feel like they're gonna be so perfect for working out in, but also just like athleisure just to wear around as well. They're just so, can you explain how comfortable, and they just make me feel so good. So the waistband is called like a sandwich construction waistband. It's so good, it just holds you in so nicely, but not, you know, holds you in in a, such a good way that you're just gonna be comfortable all day in these. So I really love the waistband. These are a 10 out of 10 for me. And then of course, you've got your pockets as well. So if you're working out, you're going running, or if you're just going out to the park with your kids, you've got a place to put whatever you need to on both sides. Okay, these next two I'm gonna show you are probably my number one pick as far as leggings. So these are the Everyday Cloudful 3.0 fabric ones. And I love that these have, I love this waistband on these. So it's got a crossover design. These are so comfortable. I got these in black. These are great for your like everyday activities. So these are like a really good everyday legging for me. Um, you could do like Pilates, yoga in these if that's your thing as well. But they also have the pockets for storing things as well. Okay, these next pair of leggings are called the Padded Off Leggings. So these are going to be great for pet owners. And what are really great about these are they're going to keep the pet hair lint off of you. So if you have an animal that like rubs up against you and you're always getting like pet hair and things all over your leggings, these are actually designed to keep all that off. And even if it gets a little bit off on you or a little bit on you, it is designed where you're very easily can just like wipe it off. So these are great if you have that problem with pets. We don't have pets, but I wanted to show these to y'all because I know these could be applicable to so many of y'all. Okay, so I got these in the color Peacoat. They're just really pretty um, blue color. And uh, these compare a lot to the Cloudful leggings I just shared. They've got the crossover band that are really great. I love this crossover band here. Um, but they also got the pockets. They're just another great one just to wear all around. Okay, so this next outfit is a favorite of mine. Both of these pieces are from Halara, starting with the joggers. These are their Cloudful um, fabric joggers. They're high-waisted. They've got the tie here, and I really like these. They're not super tight. They're kind of... Um, uh, not really loose, I would say, but they're just like that jogger feel. And then the bottom of them, of course, also have that jogger look. But I love how high-waisted these are, and they're just so comfortable. I also have these in black. I'm going to be wearing these all the time. Um, I really love a good jogger to run errands and do things in, but I also really love this top. This top will go so good with so many of the things I got. This is a sleeveless yoga top, so it's got, it has got comes right about my belly button, so it's perfect for like the high-waisted things, um, but it is also that padded off brand, so it's got that hair resistant brand um, that I was showing with the other leggings I just shared. And I would say they all fit pretty true to size, but I love this top so much. It's going to go with a lot of the things that I ordered and the color of these joggers are so, so cute. While I've got my top on, I am going to share the jumper I got from them. And uh, this jumper is that buttery soft legging material. Most jumpers, and I'm going to share the full thing to y'all. Most jumpers are like a cotton material. All the ones that I've ever tried on and saw are like that cotton material. This is that super flowy. You're not gonna be sweaty in this. Super flowy like legging material. Um, this is in the color Winter Moss. I need to go see if they have other colors. I'm in a medium in this, but I think I could size down to a small because it is a little bit long on me. Okay, so I wanted to show it fully to y'all. This is so, so comfortable. So it goes perfectly with this top I got. It, uh, I think it would be great in the wintertime with a, like a long sleeve, 
But y'all, you can see just how flowy this is. I think I might order, I'm gonna go see if they have more colors. I would probably um, order another color, but I think I'm gonna size down next time. But this right here is like so, I can't even explain to how comfortable this is. And it's so cute. So this is the outfit I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this top. I love this, it's so comfortable. And then the um, Cloudful Fabric crossover leggings. And then also if I were to go somewhere later, the only thing we have today is a ball game. Um, I can throw this on, but I wanted to show you how cute I get it on this jacket looked with this outfit. Is that not like the cutest outfit? I love this so much. Okay, if you want to try these pieces and order them, like I said, I'm in a medium in everything. Um, they are so good. Highly recommend. I'm so excited now to be able to start wearing these. Now I've shared them with y'all. I want to just do a try on on here, kind of share my first impressions. I love these so much. My favorite leggings are the Cloudful 3.0 leggings. Everything's going to be linked below and my code 15 Haley is going to get you 15% off. So go check out Halara and order some of these pieces for yourself. They are so great. All right. I'm in my super cute top and leggings. Okay. So I'm going to quickly share this grocery haul because I've got to put everything up. Um, it's been sitting out for a while, but I'll share all that with y'all. Um, so I'm going to cook something for dinner tonight. I'm not exactly sure what I'm making, but something in the crock pot for sure. I've got a couple different things to throw in the crock pot for this week. So I'm going to share a crock, crock pot recipe. Okay. So we're going to start right here really quickly. French toast sticks. We got some yogurt tubes, smoothies. I got some mac and cheese for dinner this week. This is going to go for a recipe cereal. I should have got a couple more cereals to restock our cereals. The, we went through these so quickly last week. So I got more of those. My kids love those. Uh, we got some shredded lettuce. I'm actually not milk prepping this week, but I did get a couple rotisserie chicken yesterday and shredded it or cut, uh, shredded those up and I'm gonna make wraps for my lunches. I got an onion. I got some dried tomatoes for a recipe. We got some eggs. I needed some Parmesan cheese and then loved the cut up apples last week. We um, ate those very quickly. I think we've got a few more left, but done that again for this week. It's just super convenient. I grabbed these um, like gold potatoes for a recipe and then I'm going to do this as a side one day. I got a couple of these. These are so easy for recipes instead of dicing them up, but I also have another recipe that I, did. I went ahead and got a, a carrot and celery, but for the night that I need it like a little quicker, I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those. Um, chicken broth, a couple of those. We need a peanut butter, olive oil. I didn't realize how big that was. Seasoning salt and chicken broth. Got a couple cookies. Carb, uh, La Banderita tortillas. I got a few Lunchables. We got the nacho chips and cheese and then also some pizza ones. Colby Jack cheese. A um, couple things of chicken breast and also some lean ground beef. But then we also got, I got this for myself. I feel like my skin has become so sensitive lately that I have to try something different for body wash. Kids need new flossers as well. Uh, turkey breast. And then I got some of this butter for recipe, some light butter. Ranch seasoning. I'm going to make some homemade ranch, like a low point ranch for this week. So I'm going to give that a try today. Rice cauliflower. I never buy the great value brand. I never have, I never see it on my grocery order, but they had it and it was cheaper. So I grabbed that grab some French bread to go with a recipe. A couple things of half and half. Um, one of those was supposed to be a fat-free one, but I guess they didn't have it. And then I got some buttermilk for the ranch. I got some whole milk and then also some Fairlife milk. And I also powdered donuts. Um, diet sun drops. The kids have already opened their smoothies, but then I got a Capri Sun and then I got some bread. Doing a super quick restock to the fridge and the pantry. So normally as I'm restocking, I, um, before I do that, I'll go ahead and take anything out that is not good anymore. Um, kind of wipe it down a little bit. So I did a very quick cleaning out of the fridge and then I went ahead and restocked everything. And then I washed some of the fruit and then also restocked the things in the pantry.
quickly put everything away. I didn't do as neat of a job today as I normally do, but I got everything put away. I'm gonna go ahead and make some ranch. This is called Skinny Ranch. This is from the skinniestjuice.com. I've never made this, but I've wanted to try it, and I didn't realize how easy it was. There's three ingredients, super easy, so let's make it so that way it can kind of sit in the refrigerator for a while before it's lunchtime um, because I will be eating that on our wrap today for lunch. So let's go um, ahead and make that. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some light buttermilk. This is low fat cultured buttermilk. This is just the Great Value brand. So we're gonna do one cup of buttermilk. And then we're gonna take some light mayo. I've just got Hellman's light mayo and we're gonna do a half a cup of this. So I'm gonna to try to measure out about a half a cup in the same one. All right, we've got about a half a cup of mayo. All right, and then we're gonna take three tablespoons of ranch seasoning. And I think it's probably gonna be the whole pack of this, but I'm not quite sure. So I wanna be sure I measure correctly. Yeah, I'm gonna just use the whole pack. It's about three tablespoons. All right, and then we're just gonna whisk this together. This was super easy. I'm not gonna try it yet. I'm gonna wait till I make my wraps and try them on that because I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge and kind of marinate together a little bit. Um, but hopefully it's good. I had really good reviews and I've been looking for like a lower point ranch to try. Normally I get the Bolt House Farms Ranch, but I wanted to kind of make my own and kind of see what I think. So whisk this together really good. Okay, this is a really great consistency for some ranch. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it into a mason jar and I'm gonna keep it in my fridge. Okay, I just tried it and it so far is really good, but it needs to kind of marinate together for a couple hours until we're ready for lunch. But there is some homemade skinny ranch and I'll let y'all know later what I think about it. I was getting ready to make my crock pot meal and realized I'm missing one ingredient and I went to the store and I picked up a few more things um, at the store, the kids uh, pick these out. Okay, these are actually really good. Uh, she saw these and picked them out and they looked better than a lot of the other ones. And I might have to buy these more often because I actually really like them. And they're only 50 calories per bar. I bet they're super low in Weight Watcher points. So I got those for the kids. I got these for myself. I love those. And then we needed some cheese for a recipe that Walmart didn't have. And so I went ahead and grabbed it there. And this is what I was missing for my ingredient. Um, I, I didn't realize mine was out of date. So I threw it away and went and grabbed some more better than bouillon. All right. And then I've seen so many people talk about this frosted sugar cookie Grinch creamer. And I've never tried it. Uh, and I love the sugar cookie lattes from Starbucks in the, uh, at Christmas time. So I'm going to give that a try later. And I picked up another one of these to go with it. And that's the only things I got. We ran in there very quickly. Getting ready to start their crock pot meal. I'm going to get the kids down for a nap first. Went ahead and made the kids some lunch. Very, they have, I've just made a PB&J and cut it in half. They have been snacking all morning. So I don't even know how much of their lunch they're going to eat, but they're going to eat lunch. I'm going to get them down and then I'm going to go ahead and put our crock pot meal on. For dinner tonight, I wanted something that I can make in the crock pot. I don't have to make any sides to go with it. It's like a one crock pot meal. Um, so I'm making crock pot chicken and dumplings. This has two um, different steps to it. So I'm going to do the first step. It needs to cook on. I'm going to cook it on high for about four hours and then we'll do everything else. To my crock pot, I have four chicken breasts that I'm going to add. I'm going to do two of these containers of already chopped um, carrots, onions, and celery. That's a lot of vegetables. I probably don't need that many, but we'll go ahead and leave them in. It calls for about a cup each. Next, we're going to add about five cups of water. And then I've got better than bouillon. I'm going to add two heaping tablespoons of this. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of stir all this around, see if I can get the better than bouillon kind of mixed in. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. this cook on uh, high for about four hours and then we'll do the rest of it. 
All right, I'm making my wraps, my rotisserie chicken. I just got it done in the air fryer. I've got my two low carb wraps, some lettuce. I'm gonna do a little bit of this cheese on here. And then I'm gonna put my chicken. I'm gonna try this ranch. I'll dip one of those chickens in there. Mmm, that is really good. All right, I'm gonna put ranch on these. Two tablespoons is two points, I believe to her website i need to do the recipe builder to make sure that's accurate because i think this is an older recipe after lunchtime i had a lot of stuff that i needed to get done starting with the kitchen i had a sink full of dishes i had a dishwasher that needed to be emptied so i could refill it usually we um i will try to remember to turn the dishwasher on at night we wash them and then sometime in the morning the next day i'll go ahead and unload it and that way it can be loaded throughout the day that way they can be washed um, that night once the dishwasher is full and usually by that night our dishwasher is completely ready to be washed so i'm doing that now i'm emptying it and then uh, loading it back up and going ahead and washing the dishes in the sink dishes that we don't necessarily put in the dishwasher and then going ahead and wiping the counters down and getting the kitchen clean kitchen was done the next thing I needed to do was fold a couple loads of laundry so I did a load of the kids laundry went ahead and put that up and then I didn't share it but I also did a load of towels So my chicken is where it's falling apart. So I'm going to take it out and shred it and go ahead and do the next steps to our chicken and dumplings. Chicken. All right, I'm going to shred up, or I'm going to put the lid back on. We got to keep this hot according to the directions. I'm going to shred up the chicken and then we'll add a couple more things and then we'll make the actual dumpling part. So I'm going to put the chicken back in. We're gonna make um, our like thickening and then add our milk. Okay, so I'm gonna do whole milk. I've gotta calculate the points for this. I haven't done that yet, but I'm gonna do whole milk because I want it to be like extra flavorful for my family. I had out the skim milk and I thought, no, let's go ahead and do whole milk. So I'm gonna do whole milk and then um, I'm gonna mess over here. Calculate the points for it. You're gonna need one and three fourths cup of cold milk. And then you're gonna need four tablespoons of cornstarch. All right, I'm gonna whisk all this together and get the clumps out. Let's put this in here. I'm gonna give this a stir. On. To make the dumpling part, you are gonna need two cups of all purpose flour. And then you're gonna need one and a half tables or one and a half teaspoons, excuse me, of baking powder. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of seasoning salt. Then you're gonna whisk all this together and get it good and combined. Then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of light melted butter and then slowly add in three fourths of a cup. I did use fat-free milk here and I just slowly added it in a little bit at a time and got that all combined.
And then my, the way I did it, I just took some wax paper and then I took a teaspoon measuring um, thing, teaspoon little measure, you know what I'm talking about. I can't even think. <laughs> little teaspoon measure. And then I scooped out into little teaspoons. Um, I found it easier to do this way to add it, them all in at one time. Uh, and then as I'm doing it to keep it from sticking to the teaspoon measure, I sprayed it with some spray. So I put them all in there. I cooked it on high for one hour and then my crock pot automatically turns um, to warm for two hours after that. So it was perfect by the time we get got back from ball and this was great. So points wise, it is six points per servant on her website, but I, for mine, because I did use the um, full fat milk, I would say I'd add a point or two for that extra milk. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for my day. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.